so welcome back to my channel. The last time I posted was for Halloween, which Cindy was also in. That that was a fun night. Uh, Cindy decided to like take her shoes off last minute, her Haley Bieber oh. heels, and then she <laughs> and then she decided to wear flip flops. But then in the club, the flip flops broke, and the floor <laughs> was like slimy and oily and shit. And that's actually so embarrassing. And yeah, it was really bad. <laughs> We're gonna try a new series here, start a little podcast going on. We're in school, it's the second semester now, and this might be a different type of content that people will like, and we'll see how it works. So we, we're, we just got some hot topics, we'll probably shoot the shit for a little bit in, in the middle of it and see how it goes. So let me introduce, yeah, Cindy, you guys know who Cindy is. She'll be the co-host as of now, and, uh, and we'll bring on guests depending on the success of the podcast. So we're going to start off, we're going to be talking about the Grammys. And Cindy, on our note, she put it was woman dominated. Yep, women won all nine categories. Is that true? Yeah, they they had wins in all of them. In her research. Time. And yeah. Okay, so first we have Miley Cyrus, one of the best <clears throat> pop solo performance for Flowers. I've been listening to that like nonstop recently. After, I mean, not nonstop. It was like two days ago when that when she won that. But um, to be honest, I don't love the song. Like it's very catchy, but. Yeah. It's it doesn't necessarily have like a wow factor, but Yeah. Uh it's though. So yeah. Uh her speech she did not include dad Billy or Cyrus. Yeah. And does not oh she doesn't follow on social media. Yeah. I noticed that she didn't include her dad and she even included Dolly Parton, the mm -hmm. godmother or whatever. Mm -hmm. So what's the what's Let me the, let me give you a little backstory. Okay, what's the scoop? So Billy Ray and her mom, I think her name is what? Tish. Yeah. Tish. Yeah, Tish, they Why got... Why are you calling her Tish? That's her name. It says Feroz. That's her... His ex-wife is Tish. Oh, that's a horrible name. <laughs> well, it's her name. Okay. Anyway, so Tish and Billy Ray got separated or divorced, whatever. And then um, Billy Ray remarried to this girl named Fire Rose. And they have a 27-year age gap. And they met on the set of Hannah Montana um, when Miley was 19 and Fire Rose was like... And um, Miley attended Tish's marriage. What? Let's go. It's time to tell myself. Um, so she attended Tish's wedding when she remarried to Dominic Purcell, but she didn't attend Billy Ray's. I kind of didn't. I'm not processing anything you said, but okay. okay. Wait, Dominic Fike? Is no, that what you said? No. Who is Dominic Fike? Dominic Purcell. Is that a favorite truth? Though? Yeah, Dominic Fike is like a singer he was in euphoria you remember he had like, oh, the, the uh, buzz cut bleach i never watched that show but okay. oh okay uh yeah huh an apple logo. yeah like an apple logo really like, for right? what just apple. yeah oh. he's sponsored okay what was that really popular song it was like three nights set was that him oh that, that was him yeah at the city of hollywood yeah yeah call yeah, me yeah, yeah. Up, you got him. call me up my friend met him at a bar oh oh that was abby no wait who's the one that at least i'm trying to watch on the subway oh i think that was andrew oh, or no it was um it wasn't that like okay it's at, we're actually going to talk about him later oh okay we'll get to that his name. okay we got my girl t swift six nominations Midnight's won for album of the year. Okay. I actually, I didn't know the difference between uh, song of the year, or actually I thought record meant like a record of multiple songs, but apparently it just means one song. Yeah. But I didn't know the difference between record of the song and then song of the year, but I guess song, what's a different song just includes the songwriting and the song itself, where record includes like the composers and people who put like the whole thing together. Uh, fun fact, if you didn't know that, but she did not acknowledge I constantly be on when accepting award. Which, yeah, I thought that was like a little weird to kind of like just yeah. took it. A lot of people were like upset about that because Selena's such an icon, you know? Yeah. But and apparently... she was dealing, she has like all of that, like that neurological disorder. You know what I'm talking about? She has like that muscle okay. disorder, I think. Oh. Like uh... stiff person disorder, I think it's called. I don't know. I don't know if that's a thing. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. Back. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She, yeah. We got, we got, we got an audience today. We're obviously we're on that level already. It's only for someone going on that level. But then Celine Dion and her did take pictures on social media afterwards. So I think it's fine. I think yeah. she's probably just like struck, even though she's like flying around the world doing all these things. Yeah. That's another thing we're about to get into. I yeah. thought I, I saw that somewhere on here. We'll get to yeah. that at later. Never mind, never mind. 
uh, yeah, she won her Grammy and brought fellow nominee Lana Del Rey on stage. A yeah. strange. What's a strange? A strange Wait, was she in the that. album or no? No. She, oh, well, I guess she was on the She collabed with a song. Then, the I mean, beach they, one. Oh, Snow, Snow on, on the, the beach. beach. I thought that was like an older album. I, she barely was on it. She had like vocals. Oh. It wasn't, like, you uh, couldn't hear her. And people are upset. I don't really know her music too well. I know like the, the mainstream stuff, but I think she's good. And she announced her new album called The Tortured Poets Department. We'll get into detail later about that. Sounds a little weird. It's kind of different than all of her other albums. Yeah. Poets Department. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to feel about that either. Okay. Um, Taylor shaking Jack Antonoff after he won. Very strange and childish. I'm not really sure what that means. What do you mean shake? Like after, like, so Jack Antonoff was like her producer, right? Okay. And so he won like some award for oh, like producer being of producer. The year. And she like was like shaking him like this. Oh, but it oh, went on for like idea. so long. Oh, okay. I don't know. I found it weird. weird. Okay. Uh, controversial spe- uh, Jay Z controversial sp- controversial speech after winning the Dr. Dre Global Impact Award with Blue Ivy on stage. Yeah, Blue Ivy looked a little uncomfortable there. Yeah, she uh, did, and I love Blue. She was like so. Yeah. Yeah, on on the Renaissance tour, she's Ooh. doing all the dancing. I oh. thought she did really well. Oh, okay. Why wow, you saw the Renaissance? No, no. Oh, I you saw mean, videos uh, of it. Oh oh oh. Uh, who's Dr. Dre? Does he sing? La da 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 da. Mm-hmm. Sounds like a drink. Snoop Doesn't he have a drink, Dr. Dre? Pepsi? Is that Dr. Dre? Oh, Dr. Dre Beats. Are those Beats? Are those his? Yeah. Oh, that's his thing. Okay. Uh, Criticize Academy, doesn't it? We don't understand why Queen Bee has never won Album of the Year. It's kind of crazy True. Tonight. And you know, I was looking because I saw Renaissance and... What's Taylor Swift's album? Midnight? Midnights? Was, uh... That, they came both came out in like 2020 late 2022 and this is 2024 now but yeah beyonce was not nominated for anything i don't know it's kind of weird because cup up yeah. cup up was everywhere yeah we go, ah, you know <laughs> uh and my girl said you know fun fact actually before i really knew who sizzle was i started listening to her with um uh she was in i don't know one one like catchy like 2016 song but and i would always just call her sca I didn't know that it was SZA. I think it was probably like that weekend one. Year, For the weekend, weekend. yep. Yeah. SZA, she got nine nominations, one three, including Best R&B Song for Snooze. Love Snooze. Yeah, I love Snooze. Uh, now we're going to rate some Grammys outfits. Mm-hmm. I think we could I could Photoshop it in here. Maybe if I'd be feeling cool about it. Uh, we got Beyonce wearing a cow cowgirl hat. and A Gucci is it Gucci? Yeah, it is Gucci. Gucci with a bow tie. I don't really know what's going on there. I like the hat, but um, I don't that, think for it... the Grammys. Yeah, I know, but that, that ended like five years ago, like the classiness, like, or not classiness, but like the but like, conventionality or whatever. You want I know, but I don't know. know. Ice Spice. Yeah. Ice Spice kind of ate. Like I like the denim on denim, and I like fire the slit. Yeah, but I just wish it didn't have a train, and it's kind of structured a little weird yeah. too. That's yeah, I like the puff though. Yeah, I like. Is that, that her natural hair or no? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, not very. Uh, we got fan fan. Who's Fantasia? I don't know. Who I don't really know who that is, but I pulled it because she has this outrageous lip cuff. Is that what's a lip cuff? It's like a fake jewelry thing, and it's like attached to her lip, and it goes down to her chin. Oh, is that like, do that people shit. actually get that? Like, do people get that lip cuff? Like a piercing? Yeah. I mean, yeah, but I don't think she has a piercing. I think that's just like a fake one. I don't know. It was a little strange to me. Wrong. <laughs> Miley Cyrus, I couldn't really go over that. That was kind of crazy. I thought her hair was sick. It reminded me of like olden times. Like, maybe. <laughs> she just reminded me of like a lion. Like, I feel like that's like a mane in it's your It's very like, liony, yeah. Kind of yeah. roar Katy Perry type thing. Yeah. You know? Uh, Lana Del Rey, she looks a little dark. I know, she eyes. literally looks like she's, like, going to a funeral. Her eyes are covered. Her Number hair, one. her hair is covering her eyes. Yeah, I don't kinda want that. hard to see. And the length of the dress is strange. Yeah, it like, kind of looks like a cape, too. Yeah, I don't like that. No. And Ed, Eddie Sheeran, what was he nominated for? Why was he there? Oh, he won, um, he won, like, best. Uh, what, what song I was know that. Oh, I think it was like a live performance one, and then someone called him like the best live performer of all time. 
know. What's his Instagram name? Teddy something. I don't know. It's not really important. I saw this funny. Uh. Okay. Hit some T Swift controversy, and the new album announcement. Tortured Poets Apartment, April nineteenth. She broke. Oh, wait. Break up album with. Who's that? Who's Joe Allen? Oh, okay. So, Joe Allen. She gave oh, it oh. For like. The picture of them on the boat together, or whatever. No, that was like even before that. Uh, she likes John's. Oh, that's true. Really? Yeah, the boat one. I think that was. Awesome. Wait, I gotta click off the side. You know what I don't get is like a lot of the Calvin Harris songs, and another example is like David Guetta. Is like all these people, these four feet, like Sia will sing. Uh, what she sing like? Um, maybe that's a bad example. What were we just talking about? Calvin Harris. Calvin Harris. Like Rihanna will be singing like we found we we found love, and it, she's just featured though, but she's literally singing the entire time. <laughs> like I don't hear Calvin Harris singing. Yeah. He sings some stuff, but all the songs that him and and all those like guys with the with the beats, like when it's all just like electronic, they don't, they don't give anyone some credit. They just get featured. Yeah. They sing the whole dang song anyway. Yeah, same with like DJ Khalid. Oh, he sings though, more so. What is DJ Khaled? Yeah. Why would, why would you say Khalid? Khaled? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I'm thinking maybe Khalid is the other guy. <laughs> Young, dumb, and broke. Anyway. Yeah. So, yeah, so they dated for a long time, and they recently broke up at least. And it wasn't, like, messy to the public, but she was on the quick. relationship that long. Yeah. yeah. So I think it's the, the breakup album, and one of the songs is like Goodbye London, I think it's her song, Chess. Okay. And I think it's going to give like folklore vibes from the lyrics that she posted on Instagram. Is that the Woody songs? The Woody album? What? The Wood album in the trees? Yeah. That's, yeah. Um, and so yeah, I enter so she's into calling it, album. yeah, she's calling it the Tortured Man. Oh no, she's not. She's no. calling it the Tortured Poets. There you go. But the interesting thing was that Joe was in um, like a group chat with Paul Mezcal, who that is who Abby saw on the subway. Oh. And um, I feel like some Andrew drinks. Scott. What? Mezcal. Mezcal? Yeah. Okay. Then why would you say Mezcal? Oh, that's not interesting. Let me think of it. So with Taylor Swift, we also got uh, she's she's getting in the news for carbon emissions. I'm not gonna yeah. get into it because I don't. I no. Don't so who. she signed a cease and desist to Jack Sweeney, who is a UCF college student, and he like every year oh, for this. a couple years yeah. he's been reporting on. Like billionaires and billionaires tracking their like private flights, um, just to like calculate like how much um, they're contributing to like carbon emissions and like find it out for something. Yeah. And like so he got into it a little bit with Elon Musk a couple years ago, um, but like ultimately the what he's reporting is public knowledge, like it's public record. So yeah. He really isn't. I don't get it. Is it like is jet fuel like really bad compared to plane fuel? It's just like, like when you're using like just a regular jet, like all of those people, uh, like uh, you know, like if you're just taking a private plane, it's just you and like so it's like why a couple of other they're people. telling these people like you can just fly commercial, kind of thing. Basically, and like I get why she can't fly commercial, but there is no reason why she needs to take a flight like the 13 minute. Um, yeah, like that's kind of crazy. Private flight. Where it could have just been like. 45 minutes in a car. Right. Like, that doesn't make any sense. In a limo, even, that she could rent. Oh, right. Right. Yeah. Yeah, and she could have security all around her. And that, that, I know, cars are, like, less carbon than I mean, it's still the same shit, but... Right. Yeah. Oh, that's on. Okay. okay. True. Yeah. True. Car full, guys. And continuing on with Taylor Swift, we gotta talk about this one. Why? Oh, because Travis Kelsey. Uh, yeah. So... Chiefs and 49ers. I didn't even know that. I just knew the Chiefs. 
Like, you know what the point of are? California? California? She loves to play at the Super Bowl. Will she make it? Yes. So, Taylor Swift's gonna be at the Super Bowl? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, but... She's doing the jet, though. She has She's getting enough, there. She has enough time to get back. She has enough fuel. <laughs> She's fueling her way there. No, yeah, no pun in because pun is they have a curfew. So in Japan, there's a curfew. And so the concert will begin earlier and end earlier than it does usually for, like, any other country. Kind of bougie. Yeah. So, like, she will definitely have enough time to get back to the United States. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Halftime's Usher. Which I'm excited for. I was more excited last year with Brianna. I was one of those people last year where everyone was like, she's pregnant. I'm like, guys, it's just baby weight. Give her the benefit of the doubt. I did not think she was pregnant. But then 20 minutes after, like, she performed this set in, and I'm like, no, I was pregnant. Yeah, Yeah, we felt a little dumb. You remember when we were watching it, and, like, we could barely hear her. We were, like, all the way in front of the TV. All the football guys were like, Yeah, they kept, like, talking and talking. They're like, shut up. Yeah. We just wanted to see our girl. Justin Bieber. How would Justin Bieber be a surprise guest? What do they have? Um, Somebody to Love. I don't know that song. Oh, oh yeah, I guess so. And then I was thinking maybe Pitbull or okay. Alicia Keys. Alicia Keys. I don't think she would do it. Yeah. Right, that would be great, but. Yeah. Yeah, I think that one started still. Yeah, probably. Do you think he'll like bring out like Lucas? Yeah. It's usually like the less A-list people yeah, go. Yeah. Yeah. Because... Well, I would love it to be Justin Bieber though, because like he hasn't really performed at all. He performed at that hockey game with um, Amy Mooney, right? Yeah. Money Mo. Which is Reese's. Sean Kingston. Which is Reese's favorite song. We talked about that. Shout out Snooks. Also, Justin, have you seen the videos of him playing hockey? Justin Bieber? Yeah. I don't know he plays hockey. He's really Oh, he's hockey. from Canada. Yeah. I don't yeah, like people. he's Canadian. A lot of but, Canadians. Okay. Yeah. So, a little side note. Like, I tried to learn how to ice skate for the first time. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. I don't, I, my Earlier phone's recording, week. or I would show you, but I got, yeah. I got, I got some pictures of Simi. To be fair, I don't really ice skate often. I mean, uh, I cannot do it. I like could not, so what was happening not push when you were doing the thing. It? So basically, what was happening is like I would stand up all the way and then I would lose my balance and then I would freak out. And How, then like, I'd, you, like, do you not have good balance? Thing. No, I have great balance, but I hate the feeling of like when your like stomach drops, like when you are like. Yeah, I know what you're saying. You know what I'm You almost about? trip and it's like. <laughs> yeah, I hate that feeling. Yeah. So I'm just I I'm like overly scared and my arms and my legs everything was just so stiff my lower back that after I was like yeah. I was in so much pain I felt like a grandma and meanwhile my mom and my dad are like just like holding hands yeah, skating like around the ring yeah it's so annoying okay, well, Alright, woo! Nicki Minaj and Megan The Stallion. I don't know anything about this. I just know those diss tracks that Nicki Minaj has of her, like, just talking and no music were so funny. Okay, we've done a lot of research. <laughs> Wait, let me pull it up. One. Okay, keep talking. <laughs> so, four years ago, they did Hot Girl Summer, which I love that song. Anyway, so, January, I want to make sure I get all the questions. January 26th, Megan released this, right? And the bar was, these hoes don't be mad at Megan, these hoes mad at Megan's law. And then at the end, she says, every chance you get that your weak ass won't address me. So personally, the first time I listened to this, Nikki was not on my mind at all. Like, I feel like if she didn't clap back, I don't think anyone really would have connected the two. And I saw a lot of people that were like, I thought it was about a Drake. But anyway, Nikki took why, that. Why, Drake's sex offender? I don't know. I think oh. there was like something. I don't know why it would be, oh. like, it would be connected to Drake, but there's something about that. So, Megan's law refers to the law requiring sex offenders to register. And Nikki's husband, Kenneth Petty, is a sex offender because mm-hmm. he was 16 in 1995. He um, was convicted of a and so he did not register a couple years ago, like 2021. And so he was put on probation, house arrest, 
and he was fined fifty five thousand dollars. There's a lot of coin. So not anyway, for them, no, I know not for them. So, but that goes deeper because that isn't the only one of her family members that is a sex offender. Her brother is as well. Oh wow. Yeah, his brother. What are they? Killing? I mean, her That's brother. I'm trying to dive into the behind them. I don't know. Her brother was convicted of raping an 11 year old, his oh, stepdaughter, no. and she posted bail for him. It was like $100,000 or something like that. Oh. And she posted bail. So people are like, look at it, looks sus for her. Well, yeah. And then she also defended 6 9 when he was convicted and sexually assaulting that 13 year old. So she's, she's got a little interesting controversialness yeah a little interesting past that kind of stuff okay so the response is a little crazy so i saw some clips of the live where like she recorded bigfoot from the live or whatever and she just sounds like manic like she's just like talking to herself and she's like stumbling on her words and she's like yep mm, that is. <laughs> like i literally was so confused okay so she released Bigfoot with like music and then the like acapella version, yeah. if you could call it that. And it was like <laughs> so fucking weird. So she came for Megan's deceased mother, um, saying that she was like, Lie on your dead mama, lie on your dead mama, oh that part, <laughs> which is crazy. Um, and then she also spoke about um, the Tory Lanez shooting. Yeah, I, saying that Megan was lying about that. That's what I don't get. How how did someone lie? But like, how is that not like covered anywhere? Like, how is there no evidence? I don't know. I don't get it. Like, I don't think she would lie, but also there's there's not enough evidence, I guess, to say it's true. Yeah, so it's like he was convicted. Though, so oh, he was. Oh yeah, he's in jail. Yeah. Oh, so there, ha- okay. there had to be. I forgot. Evidence for that. And like, she only has one. Really. Yeah. So Bigfoot was kind of like a reference to that. And the fact that she's tall, but she... Why, is her other foot big? Oh, she got shot by Tori Lane's boyfriend. Yeah, I know. She only has one foot now? I think so. She got amputated? I think so. I think so. <laughs> I don't, I don't I know. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Sure. Maybe she has a fake foot. But anyway, so all of the, like, TikTok accounts that are, like, reporting on it or, like, speaking about it, Nikki has been coming for them personally in their comments. Ariana, what are you doing here? Yeah, like, so one of, some of them are really talking about it. She said, you do drugs and have sex with a very executive. Um, so she was obviously taking this, like, from a very, like, defensive, like, very manic perspective. And Megan's kind of taking a more mature route. She did that podcast interview, and she was asked about the situation, and she basically was just like, I'm not gonna let anyone bully me or silence me. And it's really upsetting that some of this is about me. Okay. Good coverage. Alright. Yeah. Okay. Alright, we'll move on. Uh, Drake nude video scandal and Bobby. Oh, yeah. What is is this what Megan was sending in the group chat? Yeah, so Megan sent that in the group chat. It's that was Drake? Of Drake. I did not know that was Drake. Group chat. Yeah, in the group chat. So, do we know if this is Drake or not? So, there was, like... Wait, what video? Could you explain that? Okay, so the video is, without going too into it, is a new video of him pleasuring himself. And where did it go? That, like, I'm confused. I think it just was, like, leaked. Oh, like, okay. To somebody and so, it was definitely him, though? It's pretty much confirmed that it was, because oh. his friend, who's a podcaster... So the mics died. Unfortunate. Yeah, we had a lot of other topics, but I guess we'll have to save them for next time. Yeah. We cut out like what half of our footage. Yeah, about half the footage. Right now we're watching the Super Bowl. It's currently ten to three. Ten San Francisco, three Kansas City. I don't really understand football. So. In the third, we just watched the halftime show. So we're just watching halftime show. Uh, I'll show no JB. I thought it was great. No JB. Cindy was sad about that. I was very sad. We got Alicia Keys, Louis Chris, and Lil John, and mm-hmm. the little Billy was cool. So it was good. Dance was good. Roll Paul A. Cosplay that or whatever. But that's about it. I hope you guys liked it. And we're going to do another one soon. Bye.